Hello everybody, it's Miss Webb here. I have got a story for us to read today. Now, some of the children, when they were back in school a couple of weeks ago, were really, really enjoying fairy tale stories. We've, we've got Jack and the Beanstalk, and we've got some other ones as well. So I might start reading some of these over the next few weeks. We've got Jack and the Beanstalks today, Jack and the Beanstalk today. And some of the children at school made their own, they, they created their own beanstalk and made their own scary giant at the top of it. So if you would like to do something like that as a bit of an extra activity, that would be wonderful. And you can send them to Mrs Atkinson and I and we can have a look at them and tell you how fabulous they all are. So this is a really, really good fairy tale story. Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and his mum had a cow. Each day, Jack took a jug of the cow's milk to market. One day, there was no milk. Let's sell the cow, said Jack's mum. Then we can get some food. Jack and the cow set off to the market. They met an old man. sell me your cow? he asked. I'll pay you five beans. All right, said Jack. When he got home, Jack's mum threw the beans away. Oh, Jack, she cried. What use are beans? The next day, one bean had grown into a huge beanstalk. Jack climbed up it. Oh, yeah, it goes up at the beanstalk. It's very tall. Very, very tall. At the top, he saw a giantess. You look hungry, she said. I will bake some bread. But then, <gasps> thief. Fi fo fum can I smell a boy? It's the giant! Quick hide, said the giantess. The giant had lots of gold coins. He started to count them. Putting them into little piles here. The giant fell asleep. Jack crept out of the chest and grabbed three gold coins. Then he ran home. The next day, Jack climbed up the beanstalk again. You look hungry, said the giantess. I will cook a pie. But then, Fee, fi, fo, fum. Can I smell a boy? It's the giant. Quick, hide, said the giantess. The giant had a hen. She laid golden eggs. Can you see them at the bottom there? The giant fell asleep. Jack crept out of the pot and grabbed the hen. Then he ran home. The next day, Jack climbed up the beanstalk for the third time. You look hungry, said the giantess. I will make a cake. But then... Fee, fi, fo, fum, can I smell a boy? <gasps> it's the giant! Quick, said the giantess. Hide! The giant had a golden harp. He started to play it. Then he fell asleep. Jack crept out of the box and grabbed the harp. You see him there, running away with it. 
The giant woke up. <gasps> Come back here, he shouted. Jack ran down the beanstalk. <gasps> the giant followed him. Uh oh. But mum, but Jack's mum stood at the bottom with an axe. She chopped down the beanstalk. So that was the end of the beanstalk and Jack and his mum had all the food they needed. And here at the back is the, the story map of what happens. So maybe you could have a go at, if you've got a copy of Jack and the Beanstalk at home, well, there's a lovely little story video on BBC Bite Size, which actually tells you the story. It's quite nice to watch for half an hour. You could have a go at drawing the pictures in the right order. What happens first, then second. Just like when you do at school with your little bookmaking, you might write number one on your first page and you could just write a quick sentence about what, what happens on that page and then two, three, four and so on. Okay, let me know how you get on with that, if anyone enjoyed doing that. Okay, see you soon. Bye.